Hello, my name's Jenny and I'm one of the contextual admissions administrators here at the University of Leeds. So hopefully you should be watching this because you're part of Access to Leeds and you're looking to see what happens next. So first of all, congratulations on receiving an offer from the University of Leeds. What we'll be covering today is the Access to Leeds offer and what this means for yourself, the Access to Leeds module and the benefits of taking part in this, dates and deadlines. So please be aware that if you haven't already applied for Access to Leeds, the application deadline was the 14th of February 2024. We'll also be talking about how you'll be supported to complete the module, preparing for the module itself and fitting it around your studies. So what is an Access to Leeds offer and why have I received one? So you have received an Access to Leeds offer because you have met at least two of our eligibility criteria. The offer itself is usually two A-level grades or equivalent below the standard offer. And if you wish to check what the offer actually is, if you're not aware, this is information is on the course page on our university website. If your offer has not yet been updated to show the Access to Leeds offer, this will be done in due course by the admissions team for your course. To receive the Access to Leeds offer on results day, you must make Leeds your firm choice in UCAS and successfully complete the access to Leeds module to keep the reduced offer as I've said. If you choose not to take part in access to Leeds or you make your offer your insurance offer you will not receive the access to Leeds offer and any standard offers however will not be affected. So you've heard about the access to Leeds module but what is it? The access to Leeds module itself is there to and designed to support you with the transition to university. So by the end of the module you will be able to have developed key academic skills, have written a short assignment based on your chosen course, have had the opportunity hopefully to visit campus for a bespoke access to Leeds event and have accessed resources to support wellbeing. So why should you take part? So the Access to Leeds module has specific benefits for both your current and future studies here at the University of Leeds. It gives you the chance to enhance pre-existing academic skills and introduce you to new ones. It gives you the opportunity to apply these skills to the written assignment, which is part of the module itself. You will receive useful feedback on your work from an academic tutor. It also introduces you to the university's online systems that you'll be using when you become a University of Leeds student. And these include Minerva and the library. And with colleagues from the PLUS programme, it also supports in the transition to becoming a university student. So how long? will it take you and what am I expected to do? So the module itself is actually based on two key components, the academic skills part of the module and a subject assignment, which I've already talked about. This is also supported by additional skills. And as you can see here, it's split into two sections. So the first part, the academic skills, is based on online interactive tutorials. It's over a period of five weeks from mid-April to mid-May 2024. And how we assess your knowledge on this is a multiple choice question and answer. The subject assignment is held later on, and this is in the form of an essay project or other written work based on the subjects that you're going to be studying here in Leeds. The duration is from mid-June to mid-July, and this is submitted online and is marked by a tutor in the subject that you will be studying. So how is the module delivered? It's delivered via Minerva, which is the university's online learning platform that all of our students use. Both parts of the module are completed via Minerva and we will give further information on how to register and log into this when the module starts. So the first part of the module, academic skills. It's a series of online interactive resources developed by Skills at Library, which is a support group that you can use when you come to start at university and as I've said it is delivered by Minerva. It includes core topics focusing on three key areas which will be used when you become a university student. These are reading, note making and critical thinking, writing skills, academic integrity and referencing. As I've said, assessment is via a set of multiple choice questions with five questions per topic. You should allow one to two hours for each topic and the quiz is based on answers that you submit. 
There is also additional support and additional topics on things like scientific writing, improving your maths, presentation skills and digital skills. However, these topics are not assessed. You also have the opportunity to use the online facilities and subject talks, which give you information based on the information we'll be covering. So things like academic skills, there is information which will help you there develop your skills to become a university student and write assessments when you come to study your subjects. Part two of the module itself is the subject's assignment. This is usually a written assignment set by an academic tutor in your course area. It could be subject related or it could be self-reflective. It applies the academic skills introduced to you in part one. You have the opportunity to submit a draft copy of your assignment to your tutor for comment. Then a deadline date will be given and you should submit your final assignment online through Minerva. Your tutor will mark it and provide some feedback on the assignment you have produced. This is how the information is shown on Minerva as to each different subject topic. As you can see, a more information on how to access this will be given at the time the module is launched. So, for example, one of the subject assignments from last year was that the UK government introduced a living minimum wage. Discuss how this minimum wage will impact the retail industry in the UK. So as it says here, the assignment takes the form of an essay style. You do not need prior knowledge of the subject to complete it. It's designed so that you can research it to find the information. And as I've said, being an access to Leeds student and taking part in the module means that you will have access to the online Leeds library facilities. So part of the information that you may want to look at is that you may, as it says here, look at initial sources which are starting points for your research for this essay, and they're provided on Minerva by the subject assignment tutor. How you'll be supported to complete the Access to Lead module is that you'll be given opportunity to attend sessions on time management techniques to help you plan and prioritise. We'll also be running bespoke mental health and wellbeing resources and sessions throughout the module. Your tutor on the assignment will provide feedback and guidance on that assignment itself. You may have the opportunity to attend an Access to Leeds event, which will give you the opportunity to come and meet staff and students who've taken part in Access to Leeds previously and ask any questions you may have. And of course, me and my colleagues on the Access to Leeds team are always available to answer any queries either by email or by telephone. So what happens next? This is a rough timetable to help you prepare. At the end of March, information on the module itself will be sent out via email and you may receive an invite to an on-campus event. This will be held on campus in Leeds in early April. In mid-April, we'll be sending out information about academic skills and this again will be sent via email as well as how to log into Minerva. Mid-May is the academic skills deadline, so we would have expected you to complete and read all of the topics online and complete the multiple choice questions. If there are any issues, you should please let us know either via email or by phone. In mid-June, we launched the second part of the module, which is the subject assignment. By the end of July, you'll see that the subject assignment deadline to hand in your assignment is there. In mid-August, you'll receive marks and feedback based on that assignment, and then of course it will be results day. So how would you fit your uh, academic and access to Leeds module around your other responsibilities? So we do do ensure that the module is timed to avoid the busiest exam period, as you can see from the previous slide. Most students do not experience any difficulties trying to fit the access to Leeds module around their studies. But if you do have any issues, we would prefer that you contact us so that we can advise you further. Use the time management resources that we provide as part of the module to help you plan and prioritise your work. It's essential that you complete the module if you want to receive the lower grade offer on results day.
So what happens once I've completed the module? So as I've said, your tutor will mark your assignment online and leave some feedback for you. If you've passed the module, you remain eligible for your Access to Leeds offer on A-level results day. And if you meet the conditions of your Access to Leeds offer, you'll be accepted onto your chosen course. My colleagues on the PLUS programme will be offering trans transition and on-course support to help you make the most of your studies at Leeds. We do have some information which we will be sending out shortly about undergraduate scholarships. So if your household income is less than £42,875 a year, you may be eligible for a means tested undergraduate scholarship, which is offers funding and support. It's worth up to £3,000 for three years and it's in addition to the student maintenance loan. Applications will close on the 31st of May. To see if you are eligible, please visit the website as it shows there. And we will be sending information, as I've said, out to eligible students nearer the time. So hopefully you've enjoyed this presentation, but if you do have any questions, please do get in touch. We're here to take your calls. The telephone number is on our website, or if you prefer, this is our email address. Please do send any questions there and we'll do our best to help you. Thank you.